So now this one here is your pelvic tilt. It's really, really important because a lot of people, they have a really intense curve in their low back. And when you have that, all of a sudden you lose the ability to pelvic tilt back, flatten your spine, tilt the pelvis up, and you take a lot of pressure off the joints in the back. They're called facet joints, and you take a lot of pressure off them when you incorporate a pelvic tilt. So if you have this, and what's really neat as a practitioner is what we see is a lot of people in our population can't do it. They don't know how, they've never been taught, they don't know how to activate that core muscle and flatten your lumbar spine out. So I always like to have people start on the floor or on a wall, but this is how cool this exercise is. So you can do this at home right now. You put this, put your iPad up or whatever and try this at home. When you go and you extend and you lay flat on your back, okay? Now you can feel that in your low back. Just the way you sit on the floor right now, you'll feel a torsion in your low back. And that's because as the legs lengthen, it actually pops the spine up as the pelvis tips down, and that puts a lot of pressure on your lumbar spine. So now, if you do this, you'll find it takes some pressure off. If you do this, it takes quite a bit of pressure off. But you can still get your hand underneath the lumbar spine. Now, how you initiate a pelvic tilt is you have someone anyone, even yourself, put their hand under your spine and push down now on it. Yeah! Now do you see what just happened to the pelvis? The pelvis tilted up, the spine went down against to the table, and now if you had an issue with your joints and the nerves coming out of the spine in the lumbar, this will take the pressure off those. I've had people that get like crazy numbness, tingling in their legs, and I teach them this and they're like, oh my gosh, it's so much better. Now, it doesn't, it's a temporary fix in terms of like it makes it better in the short term, but we have to actually get to the cause. So when you're doing this, it's strengthening the tissues. Yeah, just like that. Now, you can do this on the ground to start with. This is step one. Step two will then be on a wall. So you'll put the wall behind you, put your feet out, bend your knees a little bit, and work at actually pushing your hand against the wall. Step three then is finally learning how to stand tall and engage the core so that you actually start to pick, tip the pelvis up and take the pressure off those joints in the back. Pelvic tilt, absolutely awesome exercise. How you do this to start with is push down, hold 10 seconds to start with and relax. And you're gonna to wanna to do that between 10 and 15 times. As you get stronger and stronger, you're gonna to wanna to increase your hold times. So you can hold up to 30 seconds and with a, with a little short break in between, Break, boom, hold for another 30, take a break, hold for 30, and you can do that at 10 times without an issue. Once you've done that, you can then move to the wall, do the wall ones, and by that time, you should be able to actually start engaging throughout the day if you're getting any symptoms into the, low, into the legs or even just an ache in the low back in terms of the facet joints. Okay, and that's how you do a pelvic tilt.